It is my pleasure to introduce one of the best scholars of our time, Dr. Zakir Abdul Karim Nayak, age 34 years old. He is the president of Islamic Research Foundation, Bombay, India. In the field of water cycle, Dr. William Campbell pointed out certain things. The Quran describes the water cycle in great detail. So, Sakir, you claim the Quran mentions the entire hydrological cycle, eh? Well, let's look at these verses you claim talk about the hydrological cycle, more popularly known as the water cycle. In his talk, he mentions over 15 different verses which he claims describe the water cycle in great detail. Before we go into the verses though, let's look at the water cycle of what it actually consists of. Here is a short video that's intended for children to explain the hydrological cycle. Somewhere out there, the sun is shining on a little puddle that's just part of something that we call the water cycle. Water from the little puddle turns to gas evaporation The gas forms into puffy clouds condensation The clouds get heavy and the rain pours down precipitation and more puddles on the ground Oh, the water cycle round and around Vapor goes up and the rain comes down A horse's tail that cirrus. Some clouds look like cauliflower that cumulus. Some clouds look like a blanket of gray that stratus. There are high clouds, low clouds, and in between clouds, fog on the ground is also where we can form when that happens near warm water look out if that storm reaches land get out of the way grab your sons and daughters crash bash boom and kabam so the children's video accurately points out that the sun is the power source for the water cycle it discusses evaporation's role in the cycle it talks about how gas rises and cools to form puffy clouds. It says that water droplets from the clouds fall to the ground because of gravity. It says all water from the water cycle is not just from the ocean. Warm air meets cold air and that's what causes storms. Fog is clouds at ground level and the water cycle never ends. So, let's compare the knowledge given to us from a children's video to the scientific knowledge given to us by the God of the universe. The Quran describes the water cycle in great detail, in several places. How does the water rise, evaporates, form into clouds, the clouds join together, they stack up, the thunder and lightning, water comes down, the clouds move into the interior, they fall down as rain, and the replenishing of the water table, and alhamdulillah, in great detail. The Quran speaks about the water cycle in great detail in several places. In Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 43. In Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse 48. In Surah Azumar, chapter 39, verse 21. In Surah Mu'minun, chapter 23, verse number 18. In Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 24. In Surah Al-Hijr, chapter 15, verse number 22. In Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 57. In 
Surah Raj chapter number 13, verse number 17. In Surah Furqan chapter 25, verse number 40 and 49. Wow, that sure sounds like a lot, doesn't it? However, this is just a rhetorical device designed to prove to the audience that the Quran is in fact the Word of God. However, if we actually look at the verses, you'll see that they're all pretty much saying the exact same thing. Nothing that isn't observable through the naked eye. Here, let's go through a few. 8611 says in summary that water returns from the sky, hardly anything miraculous. It's important to note that this does not, not, not talk about evaporation as Sakirnik claims. Describe the water cycle in great detail. 2443 says basically that God gathers up the clouds and that rains fall from them. Oh, and that hail comes from mountains in the heaven. Describe the water cycle in great detail. 3048 says Allah raises the clouds with wind. Hmm, somehow I don't think that that's correct. But then again, I don't know Arabic, so who knows. Describe the water cycle in great detail. 3921 says that Allah sends down water, and it comes up from the ground, waters your crops, and everything is honky-dory. Oh, and did I mention that there's dancing sunflowers as well? Describe the water cycle in great detail. 3024 says that Allah sends down the water from the sky, and that lightning is designed to either scare you or fill you with hope, which is of course simply wrong. Lightning and a thunderstorm occurs because the freezing process that takes place at the upper levels of the storm separates positive and negative charges. The action of rising and descending air in the updrafts and downdrafts of the storm separates these charged particles further. It allows broad areas of negative and positive charge to develop within a storm. It has absolutely nothing to do with fear or hope. Describe the water cycle in great detail. 59 says that, And we send down from the sky blessed water, whereby we give growth into the gardens and the grains of crops. And what does this have to do with the water cycle other than it rains? Describe the water cycle in great detail. 6730 says, Say ye have thought, if all your water were to disappear into the earth, who then could bring you gushing water? Well, certainly not a god. Praying for rain has been practiced since the concept of God began. The Aztecs and several other Native American peoples even practiced human sacrifice in order to bring rain, but unfortunately for them with abysmal success. So in short, we have a children's video that more accurately describes a water cycle than the book which is supposed to contain the knowledge of God. Alhamdulillah in great detail. The Quran speaks about the water cycle in great detail in several places. Alhamdulillah in great detail. The Quran speaks about the water cycle in great detail in several places. Alhamdulillah in great detail.